deacon has the calling, the vocation, to in some way be Christ for those around him, be Christ for those to whom he is sent, and to do that not in a big spectacular way, but by being a servant. You know. The word derives from the Greek word for a servant, for one who, for one who provides, for one who is sent. And in some ways that's the job, to be one who looks at intelligently and spiritually the needs of the communities around him. My name is uh, Deacon Chris Creo and I'm one of the permanent deacons of the Archdiocese of Melbourne. The deacon is a reminder, a reminder of the presence of God, of the presence of Christ, and the presence of the church in the lives of people. The parish priest is the center of the community, and the, the deacon's role is kind of the boundary rider. The, the deacon's role is to support the parish priest to, to, to do his ministry of leading the community, and the deacon is there in the, in the boundaries, making sure that everybody is looking towards the, the Eucharist, look, looking towards the, the altar, and concentrating our attention to Christ, and in, especially in the person of his minister, the priest. Being the wife of a deacon, it has deepened our family life. It has really enriched it. I think what helped for me was Chris went through like six years in formation and there was a lot of opportunity for me to get to know the diaconate and um, what it would demand of us as his family, as his wife. So I came there knowing and being conscious of that decision. I was not just led into that decision. I was part of that decision. From the very start when he was still having his formation, we've grown alongside him the things he was learning and he's deep, deepening his faith. He was sharing that with us. We actually get to see and live through how the diaconate can be really enriching to the family of a deacon. It has made us closer as a family. 